What's going on guys, this is Darezebo here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to motion track um, 3D text onto a Call of Duty map. This has probably been one of my most requested tutorials, but it's also probably going to be one of the most advanced tutorials, and it's pretty much just all trial and error. Um, some cinematics that you use aren't going to work. I know some professionals that motion track every day and they still cannot get this to work sometimes. So um, you're just going to have to mess with it and keep trying and don't get your hopes up because I know that I've worked on it for a while and I'm still not perfect. Sometimes it doesn't go perfectly for me. And so you actually need three programs to be able to motion track um, the way I'm going to be showing you guys today. First off, you're going to need Sony Vegas Pro and then we actually need Cinema 4D and Bojo and I'll put a link to all of those in the description if you want to go download the trial version or anything like that and so this is probably going to be a long tutorial and I'm probably going to have to go kind of fast so if you guys need to message me if you need help on anything or anything just let me know and feel free to pause the video anytime if you need to and so actually we need to go ahead and start out in Sony Vegas and I already have a clip here and thank you Aspros for this um, cinematic I'll put his link in the description and all we're gonna be doing in Sony Vegas is actually rendering this out but first thing we need to do is go to file properties and make sure we change our frame rate to 30 and just check one more time to make sure that saved and it did and then we just need to go to properties and disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio um, you can crop the sidebars if you need to some hop hodge HTTP VRs they're gonna have little black bars so you just need to go ahead and crop that like that and so now all we need to do is go up here to file render as and I'm just gonna go ahead and render this to my desktop and we need to change the save as type to image sequence change the template to PNG and you're definitely gonna wanna make a new folder for this because it's gonna have tons of pictures and you don't want your um, desktop spammed with pictures so just make a new folder I'm gonna name mine sequence and go ahead and open that up and I'm just gonna go ahead and render this out and guys I'll be right back whenever this is finished rendering okay guys now we're back and our Sony Vegas is done rendering and now if we come over here to our desktop we can see that we just have um, a ton of frames we have 159 frames that this rendered out so each one of these is just a PNG picture we can p click on it and see it's just a picture like that and then now what we need to do is actually go into Bojo or Buju however you want to say that don't make fun of me I have no clue how to say that <laughs> and we just need to come over here and go to import sequence and let's just go ahead and find our desktop sequence and then just click on the first image in our sequence click open and just go ahead and hit apply and Bojo has detected an alpha channel I don't really know what that is so I just hit no and make sure we change this frame rate to 30 because that's what our actual frame rate frame rate was in Sony Vegas so now if we scrub through this we can see that here is our actual video again and what we need to do now is come up here and click on track features and all frames and then go ahead and just click start make sure this is on sequence make sure this is on sequence one and so just go ahead and hit start um, hopefully this doesn't take too long I might speed it up if I need to okay and now that is finished and what we need to do now um, you or actually you can see all of these little red markers that have been placed and most of them are motion tracked and so pretty much what we need to do now is just come over here go to camera solve and make sure all frames is selected and optimize camera path smoothness Then we're just gonna go ahead and click start that usually is finished pretty quickly and then now if we scrub through this we can see that actually all of these points 
our motion tracked and so what we need to do now is actually make it where Cinema 4D can recognize it and so we just need to come to let's just say about the middle of your clip go to scene geometry and just go ahead and click on add coordinate from hint and so now we just need to find a point that is in the origin which is the very middle and we actually want to motion track our 3d text on this ground part right here and so I would probably say that that's about the origin right there and then make sure you click on connect to selected and then we need to go to add coordinate from hint once again and we just need to find two points that are gonna be our x-axis and so x-axis runs horizontally and so we need to find two points on the floor that are running horizontally and let's just go ahead and pick those two and pretty much this is all just gonna be trial and error sometimes it's not gonna work 100% and you're gonna have to come through here and re pick your pick more scene geometry points or just delete them on restart and so just don't give up guys um, I know that I went through a time where I got so mad and I could never figure this out but now I pretty much got it down and it's not that hard and so now we just need to go ahead and add our Z axis which is going to be running vertically but it's going to be depth and so I have that point right there and then let's just say that point and connect to selected so we have our Z axis our X axis and our origin and just make sure you click on update coordinate frame a couple of times and then before we export this to uh, cinema 4d just to make sure that our floor is properly tracked we can go ahead and click on add test object and we can see that that looks actually really perfect and it's pretty much right in the middle right where we want our text to be and so if we look at this in 3D, that actually looks really good. You can see that the point's on the floor, and then it gets higher up here where the ladder and stuff is. And so pretty much what we need to do now is come up here and go to Export Camera Solve. And make sure Export Type, you change that to Cinema 4D. And we just need to, let's find a spot on our desktop, uh, Motion Track Tutorial. And then make sure guys this is really important make sure you scale the scene by 100 100 make sure you scale the scene or else this is not going to work and so just copy down those settings right there hit save and it's done saving so now if we come into cinema 4d just click on this and we can see that our scale is 10 right there and so that's right and all we need to do is hit OK and we can see we have all these random points and so we actually need to add the background once again so just come up here to this light object and hold down your cursor and come down here to background and let go and we just need to make a new material so go file new material and then after we've clicked on file new layer we need to double click on our layer and go to texture, make sure color selected, go to texture, load image, and for this we actually need the video that we need that we're trying to motion track. Before we actually rendered it out rendered it out in Sony Vegas, we need the actual video which I have right here. And make sure you don't put the the PNG sequence in there that we rendered out in Vegas. This is the actual video. And so now we have this new layer or material and we just need to drag that onto our background and we can see that there's our background right there with all these little top mill objects and so now what we need to do is come up here go to MoGraph Mo Text, and here's our text object I'm just gonna change this to say Zebo, and let's just make this a little bit smaller and that looks pretty good right there um, just for the sake of time I'm not gonna add any special effects or materials or anything to my actual text I'm just gonna change the font really quickly and the more if you guys want you can make new materials and just drag that on your mo text and it'll actually change the material 
and make it look a little bit better. And I'm just gonna change the fillet cap to, or just change it to fillet cap on caps. So if we rip preview that, we can see. And then what we need to do is actually make a shadow. And so what we need to do is just click on this, hold down again, and put a new floor. And then we just need to hold down control and drag our floor or our old material onto our floor. Right click on our floor and make sure you have compositing selected. And come down here to tag, uncheck self shadowing and make sure it says compositing background. And so there we go. Um, if we want to shadow now, all we need to do is add a light. And if we just put this up here, um, we can now see that we have a little bit of a shadow. Okay, so now that we have our shadow and our clip, we actually just need to render this out and we're finished. And so just come up here to this little um, camera icon or whatever you want to call that. And just come up here and make sure general is on full render, output 1280 by 720, 72 rev, uh, resolution, uh, make sure frame range is on all frames. Just save this to wherever you'd like, I'll save it to my tutorial as Zebo Motion Track tutorial. And um, just copy down those settings, make sure it's on QuickTime Movie 8-bit channel. Multi-pass, you don't need to mess with that. Anti-aliasing, make sure that's on best and still image. The options, you don't need to mess with that and you don't need global illumination. And so pretty much that's all the render settings you need. Just X out of that and then just click on this little icon right in the middle. And so I'm going to render this out. I will put this at the end of the video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or comment below. Um, please don't forget to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates and everything like that. And so, guys, if you don't get this the first time, don't get discouraged. It took me a couple tries, and you'll just get it sooner or later. I'll put the video that I used to motion track in the description so you guys can use that to practice on. And so, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great week. And this is Darezebo. I'll see you next time, guys.